little stage when there's no other empty vessel to pour into everything will stop but as long as there are people you can pour your life into a neighbor is there render a helping hand a neighbor is there go and visit them and, and just make people happy in life and contribute something you know, into somebody's life and keep pouring out and keep pouring out as you are pouring out heaven will be pouring upon you <laughs> number seven pray and persevere pray and persevere this is not the age of getting tired so easily giving up so easily i cannot i cannot take a pen and look at your dictionary i don't mean the physical one your emotional dictionary and your life dictionary and your you know kind of subconscious dictionary and cancel out cannot i can i can i can i can do how many things all things through christ which strengtheneth me it will strengthen you in jesus name pray and persevere don't give up don't give up i will not give up i said i will not give up Genesis chapter 32, Genesis chapter 32, I'm reading from verse, I'm reading from verse 26, and he said, let me go for the day breakers, and he said, I will not let you go except that bless me. I came for blessing, I must get the blessing. I came for increase, I must get the increase. I came for healing, I must get the I will not let you go, except thou bless me. And the blessing of the Lord came upon him. And God is still the same. And Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That blessing is now your turn. I said it's now your turn. What are you? I said it's your turn. Why don't you get up tonight and say, Lord, I came for divine increase. I will not let you go. I will not let you go except you bless me. Except you bless me. The promise and the price. The promise and the price is available. It's available. The Lord is going to touch your life right now. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Which area do you want increase in your life? Blessing in your life. Increase of your righteousness increase of your health increase in the work of your hand increase in the program of the project you have tonight is a night tonight is a night let there be increase tonight increase tonight increase tonight increase your faith increase your faith don't give up increase your love love people love people increase that righteousness increase your strength they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength They'll mount up with wings as eagles. You will run, you'll not be weary, you'll walk, you will not faint. In Christian knowledge of the word of God. Learn the promises. A promise a day keeps the problem away. A promise a day keeps the difficulties away. Tell the Lord, I know from tonight. There's going to be divine increase in my life. Tell the Lord, if there's anything to push out, anything to push away, anything to take away, which will not make you a conqueror, will not make you an overcomer, push it away. And say, Lord, now I am ready for divine increase. I am ready for definite increase in my life. I am ready for desirable increase. I'm ready for double increase. I'm ready for distributive increase. I'm ready for definite increase. It's coming. It's coming. Don't look back. Don't say, I don't think I can make it. Don't plant and uproot the following day. Have it today. Have it today. Have it today. I say, Lord, it's mine. Lord, it's mine. Lord, it is mine. And as you go out of this place tonight, you're going with that confidence. I will make it. I will make it. I will make it. Heaven.
heaven is on your side god is on your side the bible is on your side the people of god are on your side i will i will i will go out go out pray and press on pray and press on pray and press on that divine increase is available anything going to hinder you the lord will cleanse away take away in jesus name we pray let the conquerors say amen let the achievers say amen increase in your life power in your life success in your life that mountain you will climb that mountain raise up that hand father in jesus name I thank you for everyone here, every child, every, every boy, every girl, every man, every woman, every brother, every sister. Lord, I pray this will be the beginning of divine increase in every life in Jesus' name. Anything that stands in the way of anyone, I pray, Lord, the power of God from heaven will sweep it away in Jesus' name. Take all the hurdles away all the problems away all the challenges away and lord i pray that destiny that destination you have for everyone here give them the stress give them the vision give them the revelation give them the power they will get there in jesus name any hindrance on their way take it away hindrance of sickness take it away Hindrance of poverty, take it away. Hindrance of discouragement, take it away. Hindrance of paths of darkness, take it away. Hindrance of any yoke, take it away. Lord, I pray, touch everyone tonight. I pray, Lord, your promises will become yes and amen in every life. Strengthen them in the inner man. And brighten their vision spiritually. And Lord, I pray, you will take them to that place where there's total, complete, overflowing, divine, increase in every life in Jesus' name. Joy in every heart. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Total achievement for everyone. Victory for everyone. Divine increase. Desirable increase. Definite increase heavenly increase appropriate increase for everyone confirm it lord in every life i thank you because i know you have answered in jesus name i pray i got it i got it i'll see it in your life god bless you
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord for another opportunity. Sorry, this for the delay of time. We bless the Lord for how how the God has led us to come together once again. Once again, prayer online. And I believe we will be tonight. Tonight will be a night of divine visitation. Thank you for us tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to hear our right so that I, I will know that, that, that by the grace of God, we are together, we are together so you are hearing what I am saying. I, am saying. I, am saying. I say praise, I say praise the Lord. 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 Hey, hey, hallelujah. 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 Our Father, we thank you because of the opportunity we have to come before you once and again. We bless your name because you are our Father. Yes. We thank you because of what you are about to do in our life, even this night and through the coming year 2024. We, we know that you have a good plan for our life. And we know that your plan for our life will definitely come to pass in our lives. We are believing you that you will, you will visit us and through that visitation, you will take us to the next level in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that you will keep every one of us alive. You will keep every one of us alive. You will keep every one of us watchful. And you so help us to pray tonight. As we pray tonight, victory and help my book will locate us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want you to open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Give Him the glory and worship the Lord for His goodness and for His mercy. Give Him the glory and praise His holy name for His protection and for His, for his salvation. Some yes, say, worship the Lord and bless the Lord, all my soul, and all blessed. that is within me. Bless his God, holy name. Bless his for holy goodness. name. I Our God is very good. Our God is a tender God. Our God is a merciful God. Our God is a loving God. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for healing us. Mercy that you, you are and I, we are not consumed. We are God. Our God. Our God. Our God. Our God. Magnify the Lord yes. and bless His holy Our name. Salvation. The Lord is good yes. and His mercies endure forever. Jesus, the Lord, the Lord is great. Thank you, Lord, for the hope we have in you. The Lord is Thank great. You, Lord, is my to be watching for your goodness, for your compassion towards me, our loved ones, I give you thanks, I bless you, Lord, I bless your name, Lord. I am the God of the God the previous 11 months, Lord, and thank you. Last month of the year, thank you for your promises that you will watch over us this month. We watch over our lives. We are grateful for the year. For the manifestation of your power in our lives, we are grateful for the gift of life. We are grateful for all the good of them. Let us remove ourselves and let's pray tonight. Emote yourself and pray tonight. I want to hear the people of God praying and calling upon the God of heaven. Let's worship him. Let's bless him. Let's glorify him. Let's celebrate him. Let's adore him. Let's magnify him. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Worship the Lord. The beauty of his holiness. We pray. Amen. 
The Bible says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear my prayer. This hour is, is a prayer of self-examination, a prayer of forging and purifying you. You are going to ask the Lord to put your life, whatever that we want to hinder your prayer tonight. Whatever barrier, obstacles, let, let the blood of Jesus place them out of your life. Let the face of the blood of Jesus wash them out of your life. Let them go before the throne of grace. As the blood of Jesus bless you. Whatever the devil wants to hold against you tonight, whatever the accuser of the veteran wants to hold against you tonight, I'm going to look before the king of kings. He may redeem us from all the Transaction today from glory yes. to glory, transaction yes. from glory to dominion, transaction from dominion to victory, transaction from victory to prosperity. Yourself and others should also input yourself so that the enemy will not trouble us of the blessing of tonight's prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you because already you are here with us already. We know that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly. All our heart requests and prayer requests tonight. Do we attend to it? Do we answer them in Jesus' name? Amen. I pray as we want to exhort ourselves through the word of God this tonight, I pray that you will give us a fresh understanding. As Amen. you give us a fresh understanding, help us to apply our heart to wisdom and to claim and to pray and to possess our possession in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to welcome you once again to this online prayer meeting. And already you know that this prayer meeting we are having already here in Nigeria is late, late already. It is almost after 11. We are going to midnight now over here in, in Nigeria, in Africa yet. So it's a night of sacrifice that we are making for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And that is why... I make up my mind to, so that we can treat this subject about uh, midnight hours of deliverance. Midnight hours of deliverance. So I titled tonight prayer conference, Midnight Hours of Deliverance. Midnight Hour of Deliverance. Let me tell you, brethren, you see, praying at midnight can be a time of great success for the prayer of a born again Christian. Praying at midnight can be a time of great success, great deliverance, great dominion, great freedom. The prayer of a born again Christian. Because many things occur at midnight. In fact, if you can remember, Moses said, Thus says the Lord, 
about midnight, I will go out in the midst of Egypt. Moses yes. was addressing the people of God in Exodus chapter 11, verse 4. He said, about midnight, I will go out in the midst of Egypt. Now, if you look at Exodus chapter 12, verse 29, when the Lord smote all the firstborn of Egypt, it was at midnight that the Lord smote all the firstborn of Egypt because they refused to allow the people of God to go, and God smote all of them. That took place at midnight. You will see that in Exodus chapter 12, verse 29, and it came to pass that at midnight the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. No wonder David the psalmist, he knows the secret of midnight worship. And David said in Psalm 119, verse 62, David said, At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgment. At midnight, I will sacrifice that time. At midnight, I will rise and give praise unto thee. That was the confession of David. Midnight is a time of freedom fighter to conquer the enemy territory through prayer. Do you hear me very well? I repeat myself again. Midnight is a time for freedom fighters to conquer the enemy territory to prayer. When it is happen at midnight, a victory won at midnight. When we tarry at night, do you know that we scatter the agenda of the wicked? It was at midnight they operate. And when you, up, as they operate at midnight, and you tarry at that time, 11 p.m., 12 and 1 a.m., you tarry, you scatter the agenda of the enemy. Some years ago, we have a BG, the rule of the estate. As we have the BG, and then there was a man opposite the estate we are. This man came into our own, our own, uh, uh, our, our, our own apartment without permission. And in the morning time, he, he came and he was shouting on all. He said, why do you people not allow us to rest in this estate? You people pray, 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 pray. Eh? We are not shouting, and his estate is just opposite to us, far away from us. He just came to our estate. He was he was harassing every one of us. The one of us now told him it's about Jesus. We are talking about here. He said, "Shut up! What Jesus is that? You nonsense! You people! He abuses us, and because the man is an occultic man, and when we are praying that midnight, we sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon their coven, upon upon." And there was no blood for them to drink. The man was angry. And then, do you know what? Then we challenged the man. If you will not repent, you are going to die. Do you know what, brethren? After about seven days, it was a big man. It was a very rich man. Mm. Of course, big man. The man died. Mm. There are many things that occur at midnight. Believer. That is why some believers sleep at night without them knowing that. The enemy come to exchange their glory at midnight. But tonight, as the Lord is giving some revelation tonight, you will seize the opportunity, you will pray, Amen. and you will prevail. Able tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The spirit of the sleeping man is weak at night. And God, the enemy, and use the period to protect the sons of men. If you fall asleep, the enemy... We exchange your blessing as such a time like that. Do you know in first Kings chapter three, these two women they give birth the same day. As they give birth the same day, guess what happened? And then one of the child died. So the human wake up at midnight, he now exchange that baby, the dead baby, and then when King Solomon had it, they were arguing during the day. And all that, Solomon said they should bring the sword so he would divide the child. But the owner of that child cried. He said they should allow the owner to take the child. But do you understand? That transaction took place at midnight. Do you understand? The transaction took place at midnight. The baby was dead. This woman woke up at midnight in an exchange, a transaction. Many people glory as the exchange at midnight. 
Many people's mm -hmm. destiny has been exchanged at midnight. Many people's prosperity has been hijacked at midnight. Many people's breakthrough has been, has been swallowed up by class of darkness. Many havoc has been done against the people of God at midnight with their seed. That is why mm -hmm. victory is being won at a time like this. When you sacrifice yourself to pray, mm. and you pray, the Lord will give you victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do you remember Jesus taught his disciples that when men sleep, enemy came and saw tires among the weeds. When men sleep, the enemy will, will come in and there's all tires among the weeds during the time when you are sleeping. And that is the time they carry their thoughts. That is the time they carry their program, and that is the time they are at work to destroy the kingdom of God and to destroy the, the Christian and their life and their marriages to destroy all, all the work of the Christian, the people of God. But tonight, all the agenda of the enemy, we will scatter them tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Midnight prayer for Christian who are ready to penetrate into the kingdom of Satan and frustrate their evil plan and evil plot and put down the world of principalities and power. It is for Christians who want to overcome, even before the battle began, to obtain all their resources of heaven. It is for Christians who are fed up of their present spiritual stage. You can be a terror to the, to, to the kingdom of darkness if you can pray effectively at this midnight hour and every plot of the enemy, whatever they are programmed, I, you know, when I was preparing this, uh, this prayer online, I was asking the Lord some questions. The Lord spoke to me. The Lord told me I should allow the people to be praying against 2024. I said, God, I don't understand. The Lord said, be praying against Next year, three weeks more, we will cross over to 2024 if Jesus tarry. If Jesus tarry. Now, we, because tonight, beyond my expectations, because when God was giving me the instruction, I was writing them down. He said, pray ahead. What do you want God to do for you this 2024? Destabilize all the activity of this 2024. Do you know why? The sickness that keep okay, people okay, okay. today, that yeah, sickness yeah, yeah. has been in their body a very long time ago. The prayer you pray today, the prayer will go ahead of you. January, February, March, April, you will begin to address those prayer and those requests in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That is why you must see, because I am deciding now, every Thursday now, we have about three months, three more Thursday for this year, for this prayer online, before we close for the year. Now, every Thursday, now, our prayer with our prayer with the this coming year, 2024. All the plan of the enemy against your family, 2024. All the plot of the enemy against your business, against your health, against your marriage, every program of the enemy, all their plot, all the evil sacrifice, all the evil seed they have projected in your life, and they are waiting to manifest next year January, next year February, next year March, next year April, which has scattered them in Jesus' name. Amen. As you will be, as you, as will be crossing over next year 2024, you will be crossing to victory. As you will be crossing over next year 2024, you will be crossing to dominion. You will be crossing to, to freedom and everything the enemy has done in your life tonight which has stopped the activity in Jesus' name. Amen. Before I release it to pray, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Let me let me tell you one secret you do not know. You see, sometimes when you sleep in the night, these evil people do, do their transactions. They carry their plots. They carry their activity. All their evil work, they did it for midnight. But Job, mm -hmm. God was telling Job one secret. And I want to reveal the secret to you now. In Job chapter 38, verse 12 and 13, that is the secret. Job chapter 38, verse 12 and 13, listen to me. The Bible, God was asking Job, he said, Job, hast thou commanded the money since thy days, and caused the dead spring to know its place, that he may take all of the ends of the earth, that, that the wicked may be shaken out of it?